and then draw meter line transfer the projection line from its top view to the meter line and from this draw transfer those points to the top view now this is the space this square is the space within which the missing view of this problem would appear to us right for drawing its missing view just we think about this pink colored rectangle <coughs> this rectangle and this rectangle so for that draw projection line from its front view projection line from its top view transfer to meter line from this meter line draw vertical lines from here <coughs> and this is the rectangle or square within which these two squares side view would appear <coughs> now this is rectangle this is rectangle so the if we elementary divide into primitive cell it would be a rectangular prism or pyramid so draw it over here in the previous example which we drawn like this this could be the side view right so we can draw the side view this is a possible view this line may be inclined line or another possibility is there this one right this also could be possible in this way also its top view and front view would be rectangle this is another possibility and yes this is one more possibility it may it it may not be an inclined wedge it may be curvature shape in that case also its top view and front view would appear as a rectangle right so this is one more possibility for this surface so we take this one select this line which is we select this one and draw lines now think about this another side there also three possibilities are there curvature shape or inclined line or straight line let me select this is straight line we can select any of the line let me select straight line <coughs> now for this edge also for this line also these are the possibilities either it's a straight line or inclined line or curvature line let me draw a curvature line select this curve so this let me select it's an curvature shape this one we may select as a straight or inclined but let me select a curvature shape so this is drawn right now think about this it's a back side this one so it's a just a straight line which is drawn over here and join these two lines it's a floor or bottom line it could be joined like this right so this is the missing view of this problem it could be the missing view and this is the possible views this one this one or it could be this one right we select any of that this is also possibility of this portion so let we select circular portion may be possible if it is a circular then also its top view and front view would be rectangle if this is one more possibility a semi circle of half or half circle in that case also its top view and front view would be rectangle so let we select a square select this let we select a square so it would appear like this this is a square of this problem right i hope the discussion of this problem is clear to you <coughs> now second example for missing view two views are given to us symbol of third angle projection is given to us now think about this rectangle for this rectangle this is an end edge so for that draw projection line from here draw this rectangle for this rectangle also this is an edge so that will coincide with this rectangle so this is the side view of this rectangle think about this square shown by red colored and this red colored square coincide with this line inclined line and this is a square coincide with this inclined line so draw that square this square over here right taking projection from here to here and from this front view to this side so this rectangle is drawn similarly there is this green colored shape that coincide with this portion this line so that is to be represented by 
just a line over here as it's a self explanatory you will be able to visualize how it is drawn this line and here also this line which is drawn over here this is back side so these lines are drawn which represents these edges i hope it's clear to you so this is the possible missing view of these two views one more example if it is given like this two views are given to us and this view is not given it's a third angle projection method so this would be the top view and this is right hand side view from top view and right hand side view we have to draw its front view so for that what should we do first draw pick up one portion say this green colored portion and for this green portion let we let we draw projection line from here so what is here it could be identified this area was hidden by yellow object you can see here this is a hidden area yellow object this line is green surface as shown over here this line is pink surface this one this green surface is to be represented this green surface is to be represented by this line and this pink colored portion is to be represented by this line <coughs> so draw that green line over here and pink line over here both are not in the similar plane right now this red colored rectangle that would appear as a line over here which is drawn think about this blue colored portion light blue this rectangle would be visible from here and this rectangle would be visible from here so this would be its missing view or front view of this object now think about this hole two circles are there and here dotted line is there so of course it would be a hole so two dotted lines should be drawn over here to represent that it's a throw hole and center line should be drawn from here so this is the complete missing view of this object or missing front view of this object now think about this upper portion yellow color portion which is drawn over here so for that it would be just a rectangle like this this portion is we have drawn this portion and this is the solution of this problem i hope it's clear to you now some of the problems for the self practice i am just giving over you three views are there given the top view of an object sketch possible front view this is uh, an example this is the top view 1 2 or 3 what could be its top view so one is here this is top view then this would be its front view right you can draw any one for this case this is the possible front view for this case one more possible front view would be like this right if it is an l shape then also top view would be this one if it is join with the inclined line then also top view would be this one and third possibility is drawn over here it could be like this in this case also its front view top view would be like this so you can see here for this top view four possible views are there 1 2 3 and this is fourth one in all this for front view its top view would be like this so this is the one problem of missing view second problem given the top view of an object sketch possible front views this is the top view and one example is shown over here say so this is top view this could be its front view right it's a first term of a cone this could be one possible view now we have to draw three more possible views for this object one is drawn over here it could be like this a hollow cylinder right a circular hole is drilled at the center so this is one possible view second possible view one more possibility for this it could be like this right if the object is like this then also its top view would have been two circles concentric two circles and the third possible view 
could be like this here in this case also if it's a taper shape and this is a frustum and this cylinder so its top view would appear as shown over here two circles so for this case you can see three, four possibilities are there one two three and four in examination you may be asked to draw any one possibility or in some cases two or three possibilities may be asked so you can study these shapes and accordingly you can draw various views now missing view drawings from given adequate orthographic views view selection orthographic writing steps basic dimensioning and tangency and intersections till now we have discussed about how to draw missing view of the object now we discussed about basic dimensioning and tangency and intersections view selection how to draw that how to select a view so for that orient the object to the best position relative to a glass relative to a glass box select the front view and select adjacent views step 1 orient the object the object should be placed in its natural position it should not be uh, hanged or it should not be put in such a way that it cannot be naturally put in that position the object should represent its features in actual size and shape in orthographic views like this suppose this is an object if this is an object it should be drawn like this in front view in right hand side view and in top view it would appear like this it could not be put it like this if you put the object like this this would be its right hand side view this would be front view this would be top view it is misleading so we should not draw put this object in this position it should be put over here like this this is wrong practice this is a correct position of positioning of the object this is good practice this is no we should not employ this condition select a front view the object's longest dimension should be presented as a width as we discussed earlier the longest dimension should be taken as a front view so this is first choice this is second choice for a car two views are drawn over here one is this another is this if we draw three views of the car like this this front view side view and top view this is one possibility and this is another possibility front view top view and right hand side view now tell me which cho choice is the best choice for the selection of the drawing which should we draw to represent the correct drawing of this car this b is second choice is preferable choice right why you can see here if we select choice first choice then this is the space which remained vacant so waste more space is wastage over here if we draw if we select the second choice less space is wastage over here so this is the waste page is very small area so we have to go for this second choice hence the front view should be given the more width wherever width is higher we should select it as a front view this is inappropriate and this is a good selection of various views the adjacent views that are projected from the selected front view should appear in its natural position like this it should not be drawn like this if you can draw car like this right because the car may be put in any position but here we should take care about this that a natural position should be maintained technically this is also correct but the car cannot be drawn like this so we have to draw in natural position this is inappropriate choose the view that have the fewest number of hidden lines suppose this is an object and this is the front view it would be its front view as drawn over here and if this is the object its front view if you look from here its front view is like this right 
Now, what's the difference between these two views? The same object is there. Here, the object we are standing or we are looking from those side where number of dotted lines are less. And here, this is dotted line. And here, this is this dotted line is full line over here. And here, it is dotted line. So, which should be selected as front view? If you look from here, this is also correct drawing. This is also correct drawing. But we have to select this one. This is good and this is inappropriate because here dotted lines are not there or hidden lines are few as compared to this view. This full dotted line is full line over here. Hence, this is a good practice to draw front view or to select the views as a front view to this view. Third step, select an adjacent view. Choose the view that have the fewest number of hidden lines that we did. Similarly, here also two views are there, two side views are there. In one side view, this is a dotted line and here in this side view, this is a full line. So which side view should we select? Of course, the side view which is having less number of dotted lines. This is a good practice to use this view as side view. This view should be erased. No need to represent this view as a side view. And in these two cases also, it's good practice not to represent this is here less number of dotted line is there here more dotted line is there. So this view should be drawn. So these are the three views of this object and a correct representation of this drawing. Choose the minimum number of views that can represent major features of an object. So we have to select the two views the least number of views with which we can represent the features of the object. No more views should be drawn like this. So in this case, this is necessarily necessary. So with this could be drawn. Easy to understand. Holes location can be specified on the same view. So easy to understand. This could be drawn and this could be drawn. So difficult to interpret this one. So this top view should be drawn. So I hope. <coughs> so with this discussion.